Hello everyone, Mike Brailsford of Brails Woodworks. Thank you for joining me back on my channel today. Today I'll show you how I've streamlined the process that I'm using to make pepper mills. These are pepper mills that my wife had encouraged me to get. Um, I'm not really a big fan of kit turning, but um, I guess we need to have something if uh, all else fails at the show. So uh, I'll go through the steps that I've gone through up to this point and some of the specialized jigs that I've come up with to make the job a little easier. So the first thing you have to do with these pepper mill kits is you have to get your blank round and that's what I'm going to do. I've got some walnut chucked up here and I'm going to get it round and ready to fly. I'm going to cut off the excess and get this ready to bore through to the depth to the diameter I need on the inside. Okay, I'll take the drill bit out. I'll turn the blank around in the chuck. Then I'll realign it with the cone center. The blank is now prepared to be shaped. I've drilled it through. It's got to push out the plug, but I'm ready to put this back in and shape it. So I'll be right back. So I needed, they, they recommend a jam chuck. So I work in a facilities position and I work with a lot of plumbers. And so what I want to do is I bought a inch and a half pipe plug and I bought extra parts so I took out the existing um, looks like it's about a two inch by five sixteenths by two inch carriage bolt which is right here and the wing nut and then I bought a three and a half or a three inch carriage bolt five sixteenths by three and I replaced it and I got myself 5 sixteenths washer. I'm going to continue using the nylon washer that they have because it makes it easier to turn. And a 5 sixteenths nut. 
So I've got the cone turned around in my live center and that will hold my pepper mill blank nice and straight for me. Tighten up my jam chuck. And by the way, this plumbing plug has worked out amazingly well. All right, and I'm ready to shape it. Great part about lacquer is I can do several coats in just a few minutes because it really dries fast. Okay, so for the walnut body, I'm going to use a pecan top for it. That's what I've got chucked up, and I'm going to make it round and get it started. Take this off, I'm gonna cut off the excess, and I'm gonna bring it back and I'll finish it off. All right, so I've got to bore a seven millimeter hole through the center, and let's do that. Okay, so I've got the body of my pepper grinder here, got my hardware kit here. It's got the grinder assembly and the grinder shaft. Gonna take the little stop nut off. Put that there. And I got the drive assembly here. I'll worry about that in a second. For first, I gotta put this into here, and all they call for is it's, it's got a grooved area on the uh, grinder assembly. And they just call for putting some epoxy on here and setting it up in. So let me mix up a little bit of epoxy, a little bit of 15 minute epoxy, five minute epoxy. All right. Apply a little bit to the grinder assembly. I'll let that set 
That should do. Now I'll let this set up and I'll be back. All right, so I'm going to put the drive assembly in to the head. And I've got to drill out these holes. Now to get these screws to go in, especially in this pecan, I'm putting some wax on it. Nice and tight. All right, I'm going to let this set up and then I can put it back, put it all together. All right, this is ready to have the top put on. It's a matter of slipping it in. And screwing on the nut. And that's it. It's good to go. And that's my offerings for <laughs> my kit made stuff for this particular show. And that'll be about it. All right. Thank you all for watching. I'd appreciate it. If you think you've gotten anything out of this, I would appreciate it if you click like and subscribe. Also, leave me comments because I will answer every single one. And as always, everybody, please stay safe and have a good day. Bye-bye.